when I first started on this channel and I first started kind of presenting myself in this way, I was afraid of vulnerability in a big way and I was very sensitive about my image, right? So I would sort of say, I was very I was very particular with staff about like, I want you to market me in this way. If you write about me, it should be this. If I tweet, it should be this. And um, you, you can see how much I've changed because, you know, everyone knows me as the funny pee-poo fart YouTuber every every now and again. Although I've been doing less of that recently because I think it's just become a bit old, but I still, I still have fun. But you might remember I told a story about my Ring Fit stream, the one where we hit 300K, which was a really successful stream and I had so much fun doing that. But I remember during the first hour of that, I really needed to fart. But in my head, I was like, no, Vox Arkema doesn't fart. He doesn't fart. And so I just held it in for like an hour. And then when I went to the bathroom, I relieved myself. So it's definitely interesting to see how that's evolved. And I think if anything, the night ASMR is something else like that, where when I first began, I was like, I need to be stoic cold, strong, and intimidating. And I was like, that's, those are my greatest qualities and that's what I should be. But I think that when you spend so many, so many hours and hours and hours as this character and on YouTube presenting your real self, you can't avoid showing a little bit of your real self every now and again. And I think that what the night ASMR kind of represents is that that's not a bad thing. It's just me showing that there is a wide array of emotions that I'm able to portray, you know.